Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Solving problems is somewhat easy if you are going to follow the steps on how to solve them. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving division without or with any of the other operations of decimals and whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Let's start our lesson with reading and analyzing the sample problem below and study the steps used to solve the length of each song. So here is the problem. While listening to music, Athena recorded that the five songs in the radio she was listening took 17 and 25 hundreds minutes of airtime. What was the average length of each music? Okay, so, isolve natin ito using Polya's four-step problem-solving strategies. So, we have to understand the problem, plan, solve, check, and look back. Okay, so let's start to solve the problem using the first step, yung understand the problem. So, ano-ano yung mga tanong na dapat nating sagutin to understand the problem? First is we have to know what is asked and we have to know the given facts. Okay, so based on the problem, ang tinatanong or what is asked is the average length of each music. Then, the given facts are 5 songs and 17 and 25 hundreds minutes. Okay, so let's proceed on the second step, which is to plan. So, sa pagpa-plan, we have to determine the operation or formula to use, and we also have to determine the number sentence. Okay, so ang operation natin gagamitin is division, and our number sentence will be 17 and 25 hundreds divided by 5 equals n. So, napakahalaga na laging i-equate nyo ang inyong number sentence sa n kasi siya yung parang, uh, kumbaga sa sentence, siya yung uh, period. Okay, so after we determine the operation and we now created the number sentence, so pwede na tayong mag-solve using the number sentence na ating ginawa. So, we have to show the solution. So, 17 and 25 hundreds will be divided by 5. So, isa-isay natin ang pagdi-divide ng, uh, ng whole number and decimal numbers na ito. So, kung napapansin nyo, ang ating divisor is already a whole number. So, no need to move the decimal point. Ang gagawin natin ng ating decimal point sa dividend ay ilalagay or iaabang na natin para sa ating quotient. Nakatapat lang siya sa dividend. Okay. So, proceed na tayo on division. 17 divided by 5 is 3 and multiply 3 times 5 is 15. Then, get the difference. 17 minus 15 is 2. Then, bring down 2. 22 divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Then, subtract. 22 minus 20 is 2. Then, bring down 5. So, 25 divided by 5 is 5. And 5 times 5 is 25. Then, we will get the difference na 0. So, our quotient will be 3 and 45 hundredths. Okay. So, ang ating last step to solve the problem is we have to check and look back. So, check the answer. Pwede nyong i-check ang answer nyo using multiplication of decimal numbers. Then, sa step din na to, kailangang i-state nyo yung inyong complete answer. So, the complete answer is the average length of each music is 3 and 45 hundredths minutes. Okay, so let's try to solve another problem para ma-master natin yung pagsasolve ng routine word problem using the four-step problem-solving method ni Polya. Okay, so let's read and analyze the problem. Desa, Anne, and D bought materials for their project worth 276 pesos and 45 centavos. The girls divided the amount equally among themselves. 
how much is each share? So, si Nadesa, si Ann, tsaka si Di, bumili sila ng materials nila para sa kanilang project. At ito ay nagkakahalaga ng 276 pesos and 45 centavos. So, dinivide nila yung amount na yon equally. Magkano ngayon yung kanilang share doon sa kanilang project? Okay, so using Polya's four-step problem-solving method, So, yung unang step is we have to understand first the problem by answering uh, or knowing what is asked in the problem and knowing the given facts. So, based on the problem, ang ating uh, tinatanong or hinahanap is yung amount of money each girls will share para sa kanilang project. Then, the given facts are 276 pesos and 45 centavos and triggers kasi tatlo silang maghahati-hati dun sa total amount ng kanilang project. So, let's proceed on the second step which is to plan or determine the operation to be used and also we have to determine the number sentence. So, we're going to use the operation na division and our number sentence will be 276 and 45 hundreds divided by 3 equals N. Okay, so proceed na tayo on the solution. Okay, applying the third step which is to solve, i-apply natin or ipapakita natin ang ating solution. So, we have 276 and 45 hundreds divided by 3. Again, ang ating, dividend, ang ating dividend lang ang my decimal point. Ang ating divisor is already a whole number. So, proceed lang tayo sa pagdi-divide na kagaya ng pagdi-divide natin sa whole number. Okay, so start tayo dito sa first digit ng ating dividend. So, 2 divided by 3 is hindi pwede. So, hindi tayo ng tulong sa 7. So, magiging 27. 27 divided by 3 is 9. And, ilalagay natin ang ating quotient sa tapat ng 7. Okay, 9 times 3 is 27. Then, get the difference. 27 minus 27 is 0. So, bring down 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And, 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so ilagay na natin ang ating decimal point sa tapat ng decimal point ng ating dividend. Then, proceed tayo sa pagdi-divide. So, bring down 4. 4 divided by 3 is 1. And 1 times 3 is 3. Then, subtract. 4 minus 3 is 1. Then, bring down 5. So, magiging 15. Then, yung 15, di-divide natin sa 3. That is equal to 5. And 5 times 3 is 15. Then, get the difference. So, we have 0. So, ang ating... Quotient now is 92 and 15 hundredths. Okay, so for the last step, which is to check and look back. So, we can check our answer by multiplying and also state your final answer completely with label. So, kung, ang pe kung pera ang hinahanap, dapat maglalagay tayo ng pesa sign. So, kagaya nito, ang ating final answer is each girl will share 92 pesos and 15 centavos. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.